that was beautiful. That was that was. Welcome back guys to another video for the ones that don't know me. This is Manny Petracci. For today's video, we are going to be taking the FX3 to a wedding. Yes, I have not taken the FX3 to a wedding yet since I just recently acquired it a few weeks ago. Well, I don't know how these shots are gonna come out today. I really hope that you guys like it and here we go. The first thing that you gotta do when you get to a wedding is get those b-rolls get those b-rolls because when you're editing you don't want to have those empty spaces where you don't know what to put because you forget to get your b-rolls so that's that's the first thing that i do when i get to a wedding that's me just trying to tell everybody to kind of move a little bit to the left so we can go ahead and get them in the shots As you can see, I had a lot of uh, yellowish light. I attempted to uh, balance it with uh, white balance. It was also dark. So over here, you can see how the lens behaved and the camera performed under low light. And you're gonna see the comparison and contrast when it comes to when it comes to the next shots. I think I think we got we got really nice shots honestly and you can tell the difference between the previous shots and this ones right here on the previous ones we had a lot of that unwanted yellowish light and we had to play with white balance a lot and on these other shots where I had more light coming from the side window and I was using the GVM light as a key light as well to kind of help illuminate that area. So again, I think those shots came really, really good. I highly recommend that you guys use an XLR cable because you're gonna be able to record all the voices and all the speeches for the weddings. So that's really convenient when it comes to weddings, having your own microphone and separately so you can go ahead and go to the dashboard or to the um, dj and be like hey can i go ahead and just plug this here real quick most of the time they're nice they're gonna say yes absolutely it's gonna be here sometimes i've seen people be like oh i don't know where that goes like what do you mean you don't know where that goes you're the dj but more <laughs> a lot of people um mainly that goes to the big speaker so you just go there and then just plug it in there just like like i have it over here and honestly you have everything that comes out of that microphone from the dj so i think that's really helpful when it comes to weddings so you don't miss anything the bad thing about weddings is long hours you gotta be there like seven eight hours ish but the good side of it is that you get free food and it's great food it's great food it's really really good i am impressed i am extremely impressed with the performance of the fx3 now let's go ahead and see how the fx3 with the i was using the 85 millimeter lens so let's see how it performs on low light Alright guys, I'm honestly dead. I'm 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 tired. It's what time is it right now? It's it's 3 a.m. It's 2:58 a.m. and I'm dead. 
sharp 3 a.m. August 13th. We did a great wedding video coverage and photo as well um, with a friend of mine. I think we did great after seven, seven hours, seven and a half hours of footage. I can honestly say um, that thank you so much for watching today's video. I, I don't even know what to say. Honestly, I'm so tired that don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button that we're not gonna forget. Thank you for watching again my video. Have a great day guys. Take care.